Alright, hello everyone, my name is Arkham, welcome back to another SH Figure Arts review. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Walmart and Target exclusive Sun Goku Kaioken uh, 180,000 power level. This guy was one hell of a search. He is not available online and he is not available any uh, in any other store besides Walmart and Target. So, after searching for countless days... After his release, I was finally able to find him at one specific target that I actually never checked before. So it was nice that I actually was able to find him. I got so excited, especially after I saw him. So, uh, this is technically my second Kaioken Goku, but the first one from the Frieza Saga. So, I'm quite excited to take a look at this guy because he is quite the guy to find. So, let's just take a look at him. Alright, so here we have the Kaioken Goku, 180,000 power level from the Frieza Saga. So, he does come with the kind of flowy hair, uh, just as a base packaging, which is kind of weird. I find it very weird and odd that they did that, but I don't really mind it. It's pretty nice. Uh, so, this Goku does have a matte finish as compared to the previous Kaioken Goku that they released. A couple of years back where he had more of a metallic color uh, red palette finish which is fine I don't really have a preference between the two but I do think that this one looks really nice I really like the matte finish throughout the whole body and I'm glad that uh, some of the sections are like are not glossy so that's really nice uh, yeah the the skin tone and everything does kind of get the glare between the the lighting you can kind of see it with my um, lighting that I use for my reviews, but I don't think that's much of an issue. In terms of the aesthetic, I think they really did a good job with this Goku, especially with the hair. The hair does have that kind of detail in it, which is really nice. It, he does kind of look like Vegito, but um, the bang kind of just differentiates them uh, a lot. So I, I really like the hair a lot. It, I think it's a really nice sculpt. Hopefully they do more of this later down the line for different Gokus and whatnot. But yeah, I think this Goku is... Oh, God. I think this Goku is really nice in terms of just the aesthetic of it. Uh, so, in terms of the articulation, let's actually see what we have. Because this is a 2.0 body model Goku. So, uh, in terms of the head, let me see if I can take it off. Uh, he does have a ball hinge right yeah a ball hinge so it is a ball hinge right for the peg of the neck to move the head uh so not much of an issue you can pretty much look forward and then look upward actually not bad range really good actually in terms of the shoulders he does have the 180 degree twists uh bicep swivel a double jointed elbow which is pretty nice i'd like i really do like this elbow overall and of course your wrist swivel going back and forth side to side and that kind of stuff uh now i i'm not a fan of the sleeves for these 2.0 models that are just stuck to the uh, to the arms because whenever you try to use the butterfly joints the inside of the joints are not painted or covered with another piece of orange so they're very gappy, so that's one of my uh, kind of dislikes for it. I don't really like the connected sleeves here, so, but it's fine. Uh, in terms of the neck, um, he does have really good movement on the neck. He does have like that indent that you can use. Yeah, you're going to get some decent range with it, I, I believe. Uh, for the ab crunch, I believe he doesn't have the greatest, but it's serviceable. Uh, back crunch it looks actually really nice for the legs i do really like the 2.0 model legs uh it's just that the only thing that i would remove from them is these little flaps 
And I think that's perfect. I, I think that would just be perfect afterwards. Uh, so going forward, really nice, full 90 degree angle. And then going backwards, no butt cheeks to prevent him from going all the way back either. Uh, for the knee, it is the regular knee. Uh, you will get, have some gapping with it, but that's fine. And then for the shoe, you don't have the boot swivel, but you do have your foot joint. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a double ball joint, which is really nice. And of course, you have the pretty annoying uh, toe hinge, which is common. But yeah, overall, I think this Goku has good articulation. What what it's pretty much what you would expect from a 2.0 Goku. Um, especially with how many we have gotten throughout the years. So, yeah, I think this is a really good overall release. Uh, and in terms of accessories, he doesn't come with many, but it's it's okay. So, let me get on to those. Okay, so in terms of accessories, he doesn't have that many. It is a $35 figure from Target and Walmart. So, it's not going to have that many accessories. But, I do think they're okay. Now, um, something that I actually was kind of surprised when they sort of shadow dropped them and then revealed them on their social medias, at least for Tamashii Nations, is that he does come with a whole different head sculpt. And I think that's always really nice that they include different head sculpts for figures, especially figures like this that are kind of going to, they're going to be kind of rare to find. It's like, oh yes, finally have a whole different head sculpt for this Goku. That way I can do more action poses. Uh, he does have the basic, again, face plates, uh, kind of like just a grating teeth with a side eye. A, another side eye, but shouting this time. I think that's really nice. Yeah, so I, I think that's good. He does have the two uh, fighting pose hands, which is common on any Goku. And, any, and the two grasping hands or key blast shooting Kamehameha blasting hands. So, again, he doesn't have as many accessories as you would think, but they're they're sufficient in my opinion. So, kind of with going over this, I'm just going to go into my final thoughts. Okay, so for my final thoughts on this Goku, uh, I think he's good. I really like the color palette, especially with how good of a matte finish it is. It's really smooth. There is, like, nothing that really bothers me in terms of the coloring. It looks really, really good in my opinion. Uh, I know some people might disagree with that, but I really love the red color palette. Uh, but he is an exclusive that was just kind of shadow dropped and probably has not made, been made that much. I know there are some people that have had a lot of luck finding like six of these in their uh, respective stores. But I, again, it took me nearly two months to find this guy, so... It, it's really kind of an issue, especially when they just don't really announce it, and then they, they announce it two days later. Uh, but overall, I think I'm going to give this Goku uh, a 7 out of 10. Uh, I think it's I'm going to be a little generous with this one, um, just because of how kind of happy I am that I found them and have them in my collection now. Uh, he's, a, you're, he's your basic 2.0 Goku, really. Um, do I wish he had more accessories? Yeah, for sure. Um, really, the only reason I have him s sort of high is because of that color palette. I really like that color palette that he has uh, going on with him. But, um, yeah, if, if you, kind of just ending it off here, if you've been able to find this Goku, do you like him? Do you not like him? Uh, do you think they should not have made him just a restrictive <laughs> release? Because I definitely do think so. Uh, but, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this Goku. Uh, and I would love to read your thoughts in the comments. But yeah, that is all I have for today. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.